Can Pembroke Welsh Corgis be trained for dog scootering competitions? Corgis are known for their short legs, long bodies, and adorable appearances. One popular breed within the Corgi family is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. These dogs have gained immense popularity over the years thanks to the internet and famous Corgi owners such as Queen Elizabeth II. With their unique physique and happy-go-lucky personalities, many people wonder if Pembroke Welsh Corgis can be trained for dog scootering competitions. In this video, we will explore the possibilities and challenges of training Corgis for this exciting sport. Before delving into the specifics of dog scootering, it is important to understand the Pembroke Welsh Corgi breed. Corgis were originally bred to herd cattle and other livestock in Wales, and their short stature allowed them to nip at the heels of these animals, directing them to their desired destination. This herding instinct is deeply ingrained in their DNA, which can work to their advantage when it comes to participating in dog scootering competitions. Dog scootering, also known as bike joring, involves a dog pulling a human riding scooter or bicycle. The dog is harnessed to the scooter or bicycle, and the human rider uses verbal and physical commands to guide and control the dog's movements. This sport requires a strong and obedient dog, as well as a skilled and capable handler. When it comes to corgis and dog scootering, it is important to consider their physical capabilities. Their long bodies and short legs may pose challenges in terms of speed and endurance. Additionally, Corgis are prone to obesity, which can further limit their physical capabilities. However, with proper training, exercise, and a healthy diet, corgis can overcome these challenges and excel in dog scootering competitions. Training a Pembroke Welsh Corgi for dog scootering requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. Starting with basic obedience training is crucial to establish a strong foundation. Commands such as sit, stay, come, and heel are essential for controlling the dog during the activity. Additionally, introducing the dog to the scooter or bicycle gradually, allowing them to sniff and explore it, will help familiarize them with the equipment. Once the basics are mastered, it is time to introduce the dog to pulling the scooter or bicycle. Using a proper pulling harness designed for this activity is essential to ensure the dog's comfort and safety. Initially, introducing the weight gradually and practicing short distances will help build the dog's muscles and avoid exhaustion or injury. As the dog progresses, distance and speed can be gradually increased. One challenge that may arise when training corgis for dog scootering is their propensity for herding behavior. With their herding instincts intact, corgis may be tempted to nip at the wheels or try to control the direction of the scooter or bicycle. To counteract this behavior, obedience training focused on impulse control and redirecting their attention is crucial. Teaching the dog a strong leave it or heel command will help prevent any unwanted behavior during the activity. It is important to note that not all Pembroke Welsh Corgis will have the same aptitude or desire for dog scootering. While some may take to it naturally and excel, others may not enjoy the sport as much. It is crucial to listen to the dog's cues and not push them beyond their capabilities or comfort level. In conclusion, while corgis may face unique challenges due to their physical characteristics, they can be trained for dog scootering competitions with proper training, exercise, and a healthy diet. Their herding instincts, intelligence, and strong bond with their handlers can work in their favor, making them competent participants in this sport. However, it is essential to remember that each dog is an individual, and not all corgis may have the same enthusiasm or aptitude for dog scootering. Listening to their needs and abilities is crucial to ensure a positive and safe experience for both the dog and the handler.